Hi Pisces, this is part two. I'm going to shuffle this new deck three times. That last video, my phone overheated. The energy was just so strong with that last reading that I want to pull out some more cards for it and find out what's going on. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know about this person? Spirits. Okay, Pisces, I'm seeing this person is, is wanting to work on this connection and they're willing to fight for it. This is someone who's willing to put in the work and fight for this connection with you. Yep, there they are. This was someone lying, cheating, stealing, or doing all three. Very sneaky energy with the Seven of Swords coming in with an apology. This is someone who's trying to take control of their life, Pisces. I have the Emperor, the world, and then the Emperor popped out. They're trying to close out a chapter of their life, and they want to move into this new chapter and take control. The Emperor is Aries energy. I'm seeing them making a decision to move forward very quickly the king of swords this is someone who's really up in their head thinking a lot and this is aquarius libra gemini energy the chariot is cancer energy their energy is so strong It's like, I feel like this person has grown up, Pisces, whoever this person is. This is who it is. This is Capricorn energy. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. This is someone who could have suffered from some type of an addiction. Why is the devil here? See, this is someone who... The wheel of fortune is turning. There's a change in this person's energy. There's blocked communication. I see this changing with the wheel of fortune. They're standing at a crossroads in their life, trying to choose a new path here. It's like... Um, Yeah, this is someone who wants to work on this Ten of Cups with you. The Ten of Cups is complete emotional fulfillment, complete happiness. They see you as their happiness. On the bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Cups showing up. They want this connection with you. What should Pisces do, spirits? Advice for Pisces. What is advice for Pisces when it comes to this person? Your advice 
when this person shows up, Pisces, I'm seeing them showing up with an apology. And then I have the death card, Scorpio energy, end to this connection. Nine of Pentacles, keep working on you, keep working on your money. And because there's something here that you're working on where there's a lot coming in for you. And this person could slow you down. What does Pisces need to know? I'm going to shuffle the cards, Pisces. And we'll get some oracle messages for you. I'm just going to shuffle two more times. card right here is supposed to be here. Don't let pride get in your way. What does Pisces need to know? You're going through a rebirth, Pisces, and that's why the Nine of Pentacles is showing up at the bottom of the deck after the death card. The death card is a rebirth. You're entering into a new chapter in your life. And I have nothing will come of this situation. On the bottom of the deck, conclusions are within reach. Okay. And then let me grab a couple of these oracle cards. Pisces need to know. Does Pisces need to know spirits? Okay. So things are changing, Pisces. I have trust and I have voyage. You're going on a voyage, entering into a new chapter in your life. You need to trust. Trust in the divine. And be flexible. We have flexibility showing up here. And let's get one more. What does Pisces need to know? Yeah, you're going forward. You're moving forward in your life. And it's time to delight in the fruits of your labors. Things are starting to come in for you, Pisces. Things that you don't imagine now that are going to be bigger than what you think they are. And so these are the messages spirits have for you, Pisces. I hope they help and bring you clarification. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing and being here with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Namaste.